Hong Kong protests show no sign of slowing as the region heads into 2020. The protesters say they won't end until all five demands have been met. These include an independent inquiry into the police handlings of the protests and amnesty for arrested protesters. Protesters in the thousands. Tear gas, face masks, brutal crackdowns. Hong Kong protests show no sign of slowing as the city heads into 2020. Reuters correspondent James Pomfret has been in the middle of the action. Covering these protests has been just an intense experience over the past six months. Um, for the protesters, I can't imagine how it must be for them. No the movement first kicked off in response to a bill that would have allowed Hong Kongers to be extradited to mainland China. But even after it was withdrawn, outrage caused by the police response triggered a broader movement, calling for greater democracy. The protesters say they won't end until all five demands have been met. These include an independent inquiry into the police handling of the protests and amnesty for arrested protesters. Since June, police have arrested 6,060 people in total. The police say they've been restrained with an appropriate use of force. They've defended their conduct, including firing water cannons and tear gas in response to what they call escalating illegal and violent acts of protesters. The movement has also drawn in world superpowers, Trump signing two bills in support of the movement. But was this pivotal or a red rag tied to a bull? Meanwhile in Taiwan, which is claimed by China, some are watching carefully, including its leader Tsai Ing-wen. So if the pro-independence leaning uh, president of Taiwan, if she gets re-elected re for another four years, that's going to be a headache for China. It's going to be, she's going to be a thorn in the side. But China's also got its eye on Taiwan. It's Xi Jinping's long-term dream to bring Taiwan under its thumb. Back in Hong Kong, clashes, the chaos and the violence are the new normal in the city. Some peaceful marches still see turnout estimates in the hundreds of thousands. It seems to signal a more permanent shift. Even if the day comes when the protests are completely pacified and put down by force, by, by the police, I believe, and I've spoken to people, they, they say the spirit will continue and that sense of pushing for justice and freedom and democracy, that is not going to go away for a couple of generations.